This morning, the government is still shut down, and it will stay that way at least until noon. Senators spent the weekend pointing fingers, trying to assign blame for the shutdown. Democrats blame President Donald Trump for not taking a deal funding his border wall in exchange for protecting young immigrants from being deported, along with Democratic votes to fund the government. Well, last night, Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell tried to move up the vote from 1 o'clock in the morning overnight to 10 o'clock last night. Minority Leader Chuck Schumer objected, saying they haven't reached a deal yet. McConnell then moved the vote to today. The shutdown starts affecting some of you today. Local military bases and parks announced some changes last night. Rico Bush joins us now with more. Rico? Well, Don Katie, Naval Station Norfolk and Joint Base Langley uses shared some information online about the government shutdown. They said vital offices will remain running today. However, non-essential workers will be furloughed. Military service members are considered essential and they will continue to report to work, but pay could be delayed. Right now, the military is paid through February 1st. They will keep running through February 1st, I should say. Military officials say civilian employees who are designated non-exempt should still report to work for their next shift to receive their furlough letter. As millions of federal workers now wait, including the military now working without pay, senators remain hopeful that a compromise can be reached soon to end this shutdown. We need to reopen the government and we need to find a resolution of this problem. Navy officials say the Norfolk Commissionary will still be open this morning through Wednesday, but will close after that if the shutdown continues. Child care facilities for military families will still be open. The Park Service posted online that due to the shutdown, they cannot fully staff sites like Colonial Jamestown and Yorktown. They are not shutting them down, but visitor centers will not be open and employees will not be on site. Although federal workers don't get a paycheck while the government is shut down, members of Congress still do. So we reached out to our our local representatives coming up at six o'clock. You'll hear what they're doing to try to soften the blow here. Live in the newsroom, Rico Bush, Ted Airside.